I guess there's only one rule and that is no scripts because when you're confined to what you're supposed to say, you know, whether it's an interview or if it's a how to video, whatever value you're trying to provide as a small business owner, because you want to show the community that you're an expert in something. You just don't want to follow a script because you're going to, again, sound calculated, robotic. Whereas if you're just speaking from the heart, that's that emotion that people will feel and realize that this is a trustworthy, trustworthy person. Because when you're too polished, it's like, all right, they're, 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 they're too perfect. Something, something doesn't seem right. Steve, a good example would be the, the, the classic polished salesman at, at, the, at the car dealership, right? It's like, this guy is too clean. He's talking too perfect. He knows everything. Everything is all good. There's no mistakes. People see right through that. Yeah, it's people, good. Want, people want mistakes. Right. I mean, they, they want to know that humans make mistakes. So the key is not necessarily, I mean, obviously you don't want to make mistakes, right? But as humans, we know you will, you will err, but what will you do about it when you do make a mistake? Will you own up to it? Will you blame others? You know, will you ignore it? And that leads to customer service. But if they know that you are willing to say, hey, that is a mistake and I'm going to make good on that. And then there's a much better chance that it's not going to happen again. That's real. That's a connection. That's what a small business operator needs to do to connect with the community. And when you do stuff like that, you and your family are rewarded by people giving your business. They may not need you right now, but when they do, they give you the first shot rather than your competitors.